Um, hello, thank you for meeting me and for doing this interview. Um, can you present yourself for a second? Okay, <laughs> so my name is Ursula Scheidel. Mm -hmm. I have been working in communications for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. I started my career as a journalist and mm -hmm. as a teacher for English and uh, German in a Vienna grammar school. Mm -hmm. And then I had the opportunity to join a big Austrian group, the Link Company, which mm -hmm. was doing uh, generators and power plants. Mm -hmm. And I started with doing the customer magazine and the staff magazine. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I developed the communication department. Nice. And I accompanied the development of this company uh, throughout 15 years mm -hmm. uh, in the globalization process. So they did a lot of joint ventures and acquisitions. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, communication wise, I accompanied these uh, companies, and uh, now I'm working for Alstom, which mm -hmm. is a big international group, French based, I'm based in Paris now. And uh, they are doing also power plants and high speed trains. Mm -hmm. So the DGB is uh, made by Alstom. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing communication there. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, my first question would be. Um, how important is cross-cultural understanding for a company like you working at the moment? Very important mm -hmm. because, uh, as I said, I'm working in international environment, mm -hmm. and uh, so we, we, in my team, in my communication team, mm -hmm. I have uh, eight different nationalities, mm -hmm. and from in almost all continents. So it's very important that you know about different cultures, yeah. and there are differences in behavior. Mm -hmm. And uh, course cultural understanding is key to the success of any team work. Yeah. Are you preparing them for going somewhere else, like for the other behaviors? Uh, in our company we have a, a program which is led by human resources. Mm -hmm. So when a manager is sent uh, to an assignment, mm -hmm. normally it's uh, for three years, mm -hmm. they are sent to uh, a different country. Mm -hmm. And they are prepared, so they, first of all they, they, they learn the language mm -hmm. and they learn to um, talk to people, how to lead discussions, mm -hmm. because there are differences in, in wordings, in differences okay. in behaviors, like a simple example, uh, when you give your business card to a Chinese person, you mm -hmm. always use both of your hands, so okay. <laughs> Or um, you never look directly in the eyes of do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. an, uh, an uh, Asian partner, for example, especially in India, because okay. they don't, they, it's about losing the face, mm -hmm. so you have to be very careful what to say. Or for Indians, mm -hmm. uh, they will, or Asian people in general, but Indians uh, are the most important doing this, uh, they will never say no to you as an European. Okay. Yeah. So you have to know. Even if he says yes, it doesn't mean that he means necessarily yes. Okay. <laughs> so there are big differences. Okay. Uh, because it's in their culture, they, they are not... It would be very impolite to say no to a Westerner. So, so you have to ask the right question or have yes. to ask them really right? Okay. Alright, so cultural knowledge is probably really, really important. Um, and what personal qualities does a good leader need to have to do that or to, to be successful? Uh, I would say there is not the perfect leader. Mm -hmm. This doesn't exist because a, a good leader always has to adapt to the circumstances he works mm -hmm. in. Okay. So uh, I wouldn't say female leaders are better than male leaders or the other way around. Mm -hmm. You always have to adopt to your circumstances you work in and your team you have. Mm -hmm. So different people require different leading. Yeah. So uh, in general what I would say is that a, a good leader needs to be able to listen. Mm -hmm. To listen to his people, his or her people. Yeah. And uh, also to, to learn to, accept, to a certain extent from them. Mm -hmm. To be open-minded. To be open-minded because there is only development when... I, I deeply believe in teamwork and I believe in co-development of processes. Mm -hmm. So for me, to, to make it more personal, I, uh, when I have to do a decision, I always ask my people first mm -hmm. their opinions and uh, um, we discuss. In the end, the leader has to do the decision by himself, mm -hmm. but first he should consult several opinions 
uh, before doing that. That's my so, way of doing it. Yeah, so a background for a good leader has to be like pretty experienced or, or traveled or... Traveling is not necessary. Okay. But it has, he has to be broad, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, experienced, yes. But there can be uh, young leaders uh, can be very good too mm -hmm. if they have this this background and if they have this this uh, talent of yeah. listening and be open-minded. To be open-minded, I think, is the most important yeah. thing.